Thank you for listening to the Golden Hour Drip podcast with me, Logan Lee Miller. Enjoy the show. Welcome back to the Golden Hour Drip podcast. I'm your host, Logan Lee Miller, and today I had all of the windows open. It was a beautiful, crisp fall day, and like the breeze was just perfect. Sometimes in the fall, like the breeze can get a little crazy and we'll be slamming doors from the pressure of everything but today it was beautiful and as I'm like working away on my computer I hear this like knocking I'm like well like I should have some items arriving so it could be like the mailman I'm not sure like I don't have to sign for anything but someone could be at the door and I like peer because of my office I like look right at like where the mailbox is or if someone comes in our driveway. So I like pull the curtain a little bit and I look out and I don't see a car. And I'm like, oh, that's weird. The dogs are going crazy at this point. I'm like, oh my gosh, like literally nobody is here. So I go out and I hear this like tap, 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 tap. And I'm like, ooh, someone must be here. Maybe it's my little brother. Maybe he like pulled up on his four wheeler and he parked around the corner. So then I'm like trying to look outside without like looking like I'm looking outside because who knows who is at my door. And I hear it some more. And then I like turn my like little head towards a corner. And you know what I see? A freaking woodpecker pecking at my beams. So at my house, I have like these rock beams. At the bottom, it's like this little like rock inlay and then at the top it's like wooden and it's white um and this pecker is going to town and so it sounds like someone's knocking on my door but it's really this woodpecker and i freaking open my door and he flies away and what did he leave literally packed woods he packed the paint off of my little beam it's not like super noticeable but it's noticeable enough that it's annoying and like I literally hate you, woodpecker. Like, I do. I'm gonna have to, like, get some paint up in there. But honestly, like, my front porch does need a fall revive. My zinnias are just about dead. Okay? They're dead. They're, like, ugh, crispy. Okay? I need to do something with my outdoors. <laughs> like, the little area. Everyone sees it. They drive past our house, they see it. I really need to do something with it. I bought two mums. They're like these oversized tri-colored mums. Normally, like at Lowe's, they're like $35. At Walmart, for some reason, they're $12 a piece. So I bought both and I'm like, heck yeah, like I'm on the start of having a beautiful fall porch because everyone for like fall, you know, they're like, ah, oh, like I have my pumpkins. I have like, if they're spooky girls, they have like her skeletons, like all these fun things. And I'm like, oof, like I don't have that. like. I need to get with the program. I need to spend some time outside, some time on my landscaping, whatever, all the things. Um, but it's fall, guys. Like, it's October. It's finally here. I'm so excited. Um, and oh, I feel like every single season just goes by faster and faster. Like, I look up and I'm like, oh, it's fall again. Or, oh, it's summer again. Oh, it's spring again. Like, Every night when I get into bed, I'm like cozying up in bed. I'm like, it was just like, I was just laying down for bed last night, you know? And I love having a routine, but sometimes your routines can make you feel like you're living the same day over and over, like Groundhog Day, right? So it's important to sprinkle in like those fun activities and things. This summer, I jam-packed my schedule full of events and doing things and I found that I have just as much joy at home as I do doing those things and those activities so that also makes me feel good that I don't have to rely on these big special events to be happy so I like that but something <laughs> that I think about sometimes as Garrett and I's anniversary creeps closer because we will be married three years in October and we have been together since I was 18 years old. I am now 25. Okay. It's been a couple of years. I just think, oh my gosh, like time is passing by so quickly. And I don't know if you're anything like me, but I get 
paralysis in thinking I have not achieved as much as I should have achieved by this time. I'm like, oh my gosh, like the plans I had in high school, I, I had this and I had this and oh my gosh, like it's this overwhelm and it's hard to even decipher your goals and what to work on because you're like, I should have already achieved this. I should have already done that. Or there's so many options out there. You're like, should I do this or should I do that? Or should I do this? Like all the things you're like, what to pick? And then you don't pick anything and you go to sleep and you wake up the next day and you're like, oh my gosh, it's a new day, seize the day. And you fall into your routine, which I like my routine. I've curated my routine for a reason. I have things that I should be getting done. You know, like I list my three things out but it can still like your days stack up. And I am a little scared uh, for if I'm feeling this way at 25 years old, how I will feel this way when I'm an adult, right? And I'm like, oh my gosh, like where are my 20s going? I'm halfway through. And on one hand, I'm like, oh, this is very nice. Like I'm halfway through, like I'm feeling some stability, like my brain is working. And on the other hand, I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm almost to 30. Um, and I'm not sure when you have your 10 year reunion, I guess I'll be 28. So I'm thinking, Oh, like <laughs> every single rom-com movie that I ever watched growing up, your high school reunion is like, Oh my gosh, like I own this company. I do this. I do that. And I'm like, Holy shit. Like I need to get it together. I need to be working on all these things. Like time is running out. And you know what? That is a horrible hole to get down. And this week, I found something that soothed this worry. Um, because I think a lot of us, um, or maybe not, maybe you don't feel like this. <laughs> Lucky you. But I feel this way sometimes where I'm like, I am doing so much in my life and I'm trying to enjoy it and I'm trying to be present. But I also feel like time is slipping away and I'm not achieving as much as I want to or should think I should be achieving, right? And I have to remember that my life does not end at 25, um, that I am not less of a person after a certain age, and it is okay to get wrinkles, it's okay to get older, it's okay to have your goals change and shift. You're not the same person that you were at 18. 16, 15, I think about my 15 year old self to my 25 year old self, that's a 10 year gap. So I know when I'm 28, the things that I want and I'm doing at 28 are gonna to be totally different than the person I was at 18, and that is okay. But in society, we definitely idolize this age of 18 to 25, or 18 to 22, or 18 to 23, whatever. And it can be so paralyzing as a competent adult who is growing older. We all have this, right? One thing is for sure, we're all going to grow older. Hopefully, luckily, I have made it to 25. And I'm so grateful for all the experiences and the time, and life really is so precious. So I shouldn't be worried about like, oh my gosh, I'm getting older like that, mm, you know? And what really helps me this week. Hey, I hope that you're enjoying today's podcast episode. Just a quick interruption to let you know that Golden Hour Drip has a weekly newsletter that comes out. This has bonus content, weekly updates, and future event information. If you haven't already, go down to the show notes, click the link, and join today. Now, back to the show. Watch the Golden Bachelor. Now listen, guys. I have took a little break from The Bachelor and The Bachelorette because I was getting a little stressy out from it. Okay, the amount of drama that was happening, the conflict, it was too much for my nerves. Okay, that time in my life when I decided to, you know, take a break, it was too much for me. I couldn't do it. Okay, and I was like on Hulu. And I was looking for something else, and then I stumbled upon it. I was like, you know what? I'm gonna give it a go. I'm gonna give it a try. And I, I pushed play, and it literally, 
opened my eyes. This is so like, I know that this shouldn't have been as life altering as it was. But as I'm looking at this man who is, uh, I wonder how old is Jerry? I don't even have my phone by me. Jerry is like 65, 70 maybe. I don't know. Like he is so vibrant and he is like, has like adult children and grandchildren. And I'm just thinking, oh my gosh, like he has a wonderful life and he's looking for his second chance at love. His, his wife passed away. That is so sad. And he, you know, bought this brand new house with her. She got very sick suddenly and she passed away and he decided like he is still going to live his life to the fullest that every day is not guaranteed and he's looking for love and there are these women and i feel like society as a whole we do not show older women on tv enough like i am enthralled by some of these women they're beautiful they have so much life they're dancing one thing that i didn't notice almost all of them had like a hobby that was a physical activity i'm like ooh, like i've got to get my routine down on like exercising and like not working out for the body like in my 20s but for my body in my 70s like that's who i'm working for like old logan granny logan and um i think we think you know we'll be young forever but we we're not right and i see these women and they are still like living their life they're, they're having so much fun they're doing all the things and i'm like what do you mean like there's still stuff to look forward to at 60 at 70 at 80 maybe i don't know and so it really like gave my heart and my head a mental reset i'm like you are not behind girl you are exactly where you are supposed to be you cannot what's the song it's like I can't even think of it. I'm thinking of Soul Sister, but that's not it. Vienna, where she, uh, you want to achieve all these things, but you cannot achieve them before your time to achieve them is here. Stop trying to rush it. And just stop trying to slow things down. Because if you slow things down and you try to stay within your persona that you were at 15 or 16 or 18 or whatever, then you are missing your present, right? Like if you're looking back, looking back, looking back, wishing that you were how you were at a certain age or a certain size or a certain weight or whatever, you are missing out on the present. And if you're so worried about becoming older and focusing on, oh my gosh, like what will I do when I get wrinkles? Listen, I don't like wrinkles either, okay? I've gotten Botox, I love my skincare, I love doing all those things, but it is not scary to get older. Like it's a blessing. Like people are like, not everyone gets to make it to 80 years old, 70 years old, 60, 50, like all, none of the ages are ever guaranteed. So you might as well enjoy where you're at, enjoy what's to come. And watching the Golden Bachelor, I, I literally like, when they first announced it like two years ago or whatever, they're like, ah, uh, asking for contestants for the Golden Bachelor. I was like, ooh, like that's weird, right? And it is, it's kind of cringy, but it's also kind of cute how they're like falling in love. They're like flirting with each other. I'm like, oh, like when Garrett and I, because our anniversary is coming up and we're on year three of our marriage, I'm like year 50 of our marriage. Like, I hope we're acting like this, right? Like I hope that I get 50 years of marriage with Garrett because life can happen in a blink of an eye. Like something horrible, knock on wood, I don't know where the wood is in this room, but I hope that we are both healthy and happy in our 70s, 80s, you know, 90s, 100. And the quality of life is good and our health is good. So it is inspiring that I need to like be taking care of myself and taking care of, you know, my health and my body and all of those things, but also like, it's gonna be fine and it's gonna be okay. So if you are worried about any of these things like me, like there's something to look forward to. Um, your life is not gonna end. You will get to experience things and you are not less desirable as a human if you're older because 
we all get old at some point and I'm sorry if this is like a bit of a downer episode but like it was such a cute like the ba the golden bachelor is so cute like it really is and it was very touching and they were wearing these like beautiful dresses and it just makes me think you know what like every day is a gift and I want to celebrate it and I want to wear cute dresses and why am I so worried about like my imperfections when I should just be grateful for my body and when I was 14, 15, whatever, like I, at a younger age, I, I, there's parts that I'd pick up, like pick at myself. I'd be like, you're not thin enough. You're not beautiful enough. There's not a time in my life that I don't remember not being on a diet or wanting to like be thinner. Like that is not healthy. That's not, that's not good. And so then I'm like, what if I just embrace every single part of myself, work to have a healthier heart, work to have a healthier mind, body, and soul, and allow that joy to keep me young, you know? And Botox, I do like Botox, okay? Um, but it's, it's okay. I know that's so dumb. And maybe, I don't know who this episode is for, honestly, maybe it's just for me, maybe it's just for you, but you have all the time in the world, okay? You are not behind. You are where you're supposed to be. You cannot know everything before you know them. You gotta have the experience. You gotta have the knowledge in order to move forward. You're okay. You're fine. We're gonna make it through. We're gonna be successful and hot when the time comes, okay? <laughs> We're in this together. Thank you so much for listening. I hope that you watched The Golden Bachelor. If you have Hulu or, you know, borrow from a friend because Netflix is honestly on my crap list, on my shit list, to be honest, because every time I try to watch Georgia and Jenny, Garrett is on his lunch break and he is also trying to watch something on Netflix and it's irritating the crap out of me because we should both be able to watch two different shows in the same household. That's a, that's a, that's a rant. Netflix, count your days. Hulu, you're my icon you're stunning beautiful i love you um thank you so much for listening and i hope that you enjoyed this episode if you didn't this episode wasn't for you it was for someone else who needed to hear those words so i hopefully we'll see you in the next one bye